Hello friends, today I'm going to talk about bag rooting a plumeria cutting. Now usually we need to bag root a plumeria only in instances where it's difficult to root that cutting or if the cutting is very thin and very hard to root. And uh, I'd say it's a pretty successful method. So let's have a look and you can try if you'd like to do something like this. So first I'm going to show you what all we will need. What we're going to need is sandwich bags. I'm going to need some perlite, coconut coil, this is the electrical tape, a marker, scissors and your cuttings and a bowl to mix it. Now what happens is uh, if you don't find coconut coir at your uh, area, region, nursery, the best thing to use is this Shalimar potting soil as it has maximum coconut coir. So I have already pre-mixed the soil as you can see. So it is at say 75% of the potting mixture with 25% uh, of perlite. I have uh, made it a little moist, added a bit of water and it's ready for use. You can see the cuttings. I have already kept it for callousing. The cuttings are uh, hard and calloused. I had kept it for about a week. So now for this short small cutting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a small sandwich bag. For this first, I'm going to write on the sandwich bag the date on which I'm doing the bag routing. So today being the 28th. So I've written the date. All that I'm going to do is take in the potting mix, put it into the sandwich bag, fill it to the brim. I guess that's enough because we have to seal this bag. Right, I've done this. All I'm going to do is add the cutting in it. Keep it firm. And I'm going to use this electrical tape to tape it. nicely tight there I think it's ready I cut off the tape and just so that the water doesn't accumulate here due to humidity or if it's kept in your garden due to the pipes I'm going to just turn over the flap that's it so this is my first cutting. I have bag rooted it. The date is written here and I'm hoping in a humid weather in about two, three weeks or maximum a month, I should see some roots on this. Now I'm going to do the other cutting. So I've taken a bigger sandwich bag as the cutting is a bit longer. So you can see the mixture is not very very wet. I have just made it moist, kept it for a couple of hours and it's ready to be used then. I guess that's enough. I'm going to take this cutting. Since it's a very thin cutting, I'm going to try this method. There, I fitted it tight. And I'm going to seal it again with the tape. done. And like I mentioned, I'm going to turn the flap over. There, another cutting is ready and we're going to check the performance of this maybe after a month. So we're not going to water, remember that it's going to stay sealed. After a month we're going to open and see or you can probably see the roots through the plastic, it's transparent then hopefully we'll see some beautiful plumeria in the garden. This is also works very well if we have shortage of space, cannot keep too many pots if we have cuttings. And I just want to show you how this one cutting which has been successful 
you can see new leaves have grown on it and I'm going to show you the roots it's still in the bag and you can see long noodles and they are the roots now I'm going to pot it today evening into a nice big pot